It's me, I'm back! Rachel the Great, aka Duh, my name is Rachel. Um, so it's been approximately, yeah, you can come here, approximately three years since I've posted anything, and I do sincerely apologize. That was not the plan. Every time I would take any sort of break, I'd be like, guys, guys, I'm going to do better. I am going to film more often. And then my webcam broke. And the only camera I had was my, okay, okay, that's, that's enough only camera I had was my webcam on my computer and I just gave up because I couldn't get it to work and I couldn't afford to buy a camera and I would sporadically attempt to fix it and I finally just gave up for good and let it go for a couple years and then I was making my resolutions this year, and I was like, you know, I really want to get back into filming. So let's make this happen. This is one of my resolutions to start vlogging again. And I got it to work. I got my webcam to work, and I was like, yes, it's meant to be. It's working. Oh my gosh. It is the shittiest video quality ever because it is so old it's like a webcam that is six years old seven six it's really old so the fact it's probably like three megapixels I have no idea it's really bad it made my skin look fantastic because it was so blurry everything <laughs> looks blurred out and smoothed out and I was like Yes, I look so good, but everything looks shitty and no one is going to watch this. And then I was like, you know, I have this really awesome phone. Part of the advertisements on TV are about it having one of the best, if not the best, video camera on the market on a smartphone. So why don't I utilize that? And I tried it. And it wasn't working out because, you know, holding something, you can't exactly always hold it at the right angle, always hold it steady. And I wanted to use the rear camera because that's the really, really good one. The front-facing camera is pretty decent, but the rear camera is like, you know. So I had this idea like, oh my gosh, what if there's a tripod for a cell phone? Oh my gosh, you know. Probably a billion people have thought of it before because I found this sick tutorial for a Lego tripod for your phone. It is the coolest thing and whatever that master builder's name is, uh, SLC123, I think, something like that. Anyway, shout out to him because his design was awesome. I had to modify it a little bit because I didn't have all of the parts, but it's like a legit tripod where you mount it, you can crank the top to change the angles, um, you can move the legs up and down for different heights. It's so cool, but it took me about a week to put together because even with me, improvising on a few parts I still had to order some parts um which my boyfriend shopped through Bricklink which is a pretty cool place I feel like it's Etsy for Legos because there's people with their own individual shops and you buy through them it's not an overall shopping site yeah yeah and that's how I made sense of it in my mind, was comparing it to Etsy, even though people don't craft Legos. That'd be really cool if you had like a Lego making machine. You could, oh, it'd be so cool. Way off topic. Anyway, so now that I have this set up, I am going to start filming. And it is my goal this year, part of my New Year's resolution, and get on my ass if I fail, but it's my goal to do it once a week. 
which to me sounds really ambitious. I know there's people that put videos up like every couple of days, every day. It's like, oh my God, that's a lot of work. So I'm going to try and do it once a week. But what I want to know, I feel like I'm gesticulating a lot. Hey, <laughs> what I want to know is should I stick with my old format, which was really, really fun, or try something new? Before I would, well, I cut out the Nell moment. That was only for a little bit. But I would say my favorite thing, I would draw something, I would ramble about something because I'm really good at that, and then I would read a story, which I loved doing all of that. It was a really fun format and I always enjoyed it, but it's been three years. So I think maybe I should switch it up and start fresh, but I want to know what my five viewers think. If you are still even there and still viewing and the people that know me in real life, you can tell me to my face. Anybody else that does maybe perchance actually watch this video and you know is notified from <laughs> following me from three years ago, leave a comment below about what I should do. Whether I should go back to the way it was, which was super fun, or whether I should try something new. That's pretty much all. I did want to ramble about intros and goodbyes. Um, this is going to be a really long video, but I just want to say I feel like intros and goodbyes are really awkward because you're, you're not talking to a person. You're like, hey, but there's no one to say hey back or bye, but there's no one to say bye back. I feel like it's a children's show where, say, Dora the Explorer, like, what color is the porcupine? And then they pause and they wait. And, you know, what if the kid doesn't say green? It's just really awkward. Because I don't feel like people are on YouTube and someone says hi and they're like, Oh, hey girl, hey! No, I don't do that when I watch videos. So it's just a little bit awkward in my mind, but I'm still going to do what I do best and smack the shit out of my camera when I say goodbye. High five, guys.